the site of her murder urged business owners not to call the cops just days earlier. I want to bring in Guardian Angels founder Curtis Sliwa. You know, I would have thought by this point, Curtis, that things would be better. You know, Mayor Adams promised he was going to clean up the city. I'm not sure that's happened. No, 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 no. The swagger man has no plan. It's talk, 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 talk. The only thing he does is go out at night to the wee hours in the morning and party hardy. Meantime, the city is in worse shape than it was under Comrade Bill de Blasio in eight years. And that's difficult to think that that could be possible. But it's because he and the Democrats have abandoned ship. You mentioned what happened in Astoria. A hero lieutenant of the fire department ready to retire, 61, a woman savagely stabbed 20 times over and over and over for no reason by an emotionally disturbed person. And prior to that, the local city councilwoman, who is an accolade of AOC All Out Crazy, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, a Democratic Social of America, was giving leaflets out to all the small mom and pop business owners in that area saying, never, ever, ever call the police. Never. And then they gave stupid alternatives like distract the individual who's causing you distress. Go up to them, ask them, hey, didn't I go to high school with you? And then after they go on a rampage, in order to calm them down, just go up to them and say, hey, by the way, have a, go a good day. This is absolute insanity. Now, I must tell you, this woman, Tim, uh, Tiffany Caban, the city councilwoman, there was an armed robbery right across from her office, a uh, cafe. Guys came off motorcycles with hoodies and with guns, and they said, your money or your life. Tiffany and her staff were hiding under their desks, afraid that they might get shot if they started firing. They never once called 911. Now, did they respond? Of course not. They hid under their desks. Oh, I hope we don't get shot crazy i i'm gonna hold my tongue because i'm gonna say something really really offensive about her and i'm not gonna do it but i will tell you i'm not a fan leave it at that um i will say this though you know you mentioned city councilwoman you and i got to know each other because our neighborhood you you and your wife and i share a neighborhood that we all love and it was overrun during covid uh homeless hotels crime and we had at that point a city councilwoman who gaslighted all of us you me all of us thousands of us in our neighborhood now we have a city councilwoman who basically has disappeared and and doesn't seem to want to answer the phone that's at the local level that you and i deal with at the state level though you've got lee zeldin running for governor against kathy hochel now uh, the, the cynic new yorker is going to say to you well oh, it's blue state he has no chance Lee Zeldin is running commercials in this city that are powerful, powerful, Curtis. You ran, yeah. as a Dem you, I ran as a Republican. I know you didn't win against Mayor Adams, but does Lee Zeldin, in your mind, have a shot considering how bad things have gotten in New York State? Oh, there's, there's no doubt about it. Crime is the number one issue from Buffalo to Brooklyn, all over the state, even suburban areas. And Congressman Zeldin has a plan. Whereas Kathy Crime Wave Holcomb, who is now the governor, who wants to get elected, she has no plan. Eric Adams, the Democratic mayor, has no plan. So I've given my full support to Congressman Lee Zeldin. And I'll tell you another thing. I'm going to give you an exclusive. Tomorrow, I and the Guardian Angels will be in Astoria starting patrols and mm -hmm. also giving out flyers to all the mom and pop shopkeepers. Let them know. Always, always, always call 911. 911 must be called under mm -hmm. any and all circumstances support the police don't defund the police we need more police yep i agree with you 100 percent curtis real quick how are the guardian angels speaking of them helping with relief efforts in fort myers we have guardian angels in Fort Myers to begin with in Tampa, St. Petersburg, and we're bringing in more from the East Coast, from uh, Fort Pierce. We're doing wellness checks. As you know, a lot of senior citizens still stuck in their homes. And we're also checking on a lot of the animals. A lot of the animals have been stuck in homes that humans had to abandon when the floods came through. We're distributing water, which is so necessary, food, and just helping to try to repair that part of Florida. Right. We we got to put aside political differences. This is a time for Democrats and Republicans to come together and help put Florida back together again and help all those in need. Not based yep. on equity, Vice President Harris, based on need.
Curtis Lewa, thank you for all of your efforts in this city, Fort Myers. Thank you to your wife for her efforts when it comes to animal rescue in the city. I'm one of her biggest fans. Please tell her hello for me. Curtis, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank well, you. the Dow is hitting session highs, right?